With Avatar 2 out in theaters this month, I thought it would be topical to revisit that one movie with the Native American Smurf things from outer space that we all totally didn't forget even existed, right? Alright, the Avatar movie. Uh, no, the other one. There we go. Looking back now, it's hard to imagine just how this became the highest grossing movie of all time. But we have to remember what things were like at that time. I remember hearing about it after school for weeks before I finally got to see it. All everyone could talk about was how amazing it looked. The graphics of this movie were like nothing ever made before. And also, there was the added hype of seeing it in 3D. My classmates told me that I just had to see it in 3D in order to get the full experience. So with persistent word of mouth that existed at the time, plus the extra surcharge for 3D viewing, it ended up being the perfect storm to make over two and a half billion dollars. However, aside from the ass load of money that Avatar made, and its amazing special effects, which still look fantastic even on my early 1990s TV that still works. Time has not been too kind to the blue space cats. While there was a mountain of excitement for the film back in 2009-2010, I feel like the hype died out by 2013. Once people began looking past the groundbreaking CGI and realizing that the rest of the film is actually pretty mediocre, fanfare died out quicker than an ADHD squirrel on cocaine. The common complaint people have about this movie is that it's a ripoff of something else. What is that something else? Some say it's Pocahontas, some say it's Dances with Wolves, some say it's Fern Gully. So which is it? The answer is yes, all of them. Avatar feels like a slapped together patchwork of various unoriginal environmentalist ideas which end up coming off as just silly. I mean, the super gold that the human colonists are mining for here is literally called unobtainium. Really? That's a word that a first grader came up with. <sighs> and this movie made two billion dollars. So basically, Avatar is like one of those juiced up bodybuilders. On the surface, it looks strong, but all those muscles are actually fake and can't actually do any real heavy lifting. Likewise, my score is probably inflated higher than it should be on account of the awesome special effects. But I guess eye candy is part of the package too. More than anything though, I'm just curious how the new movie does, both at the box office and among critics. I say that the hype died out, but Avatar's made like $200 million in re-releases, so I guess some people still like it. I really don't know how it will do. But I think we can all agree that it's about 8 years too late. But speaking of getting late, it's time to close out this video. So, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and good night.